Hi, Karina. Hi. It's nice to, for you to join us today. Um, so we're talking about climate, and I want to understand what is CAR4 doing to achieve the sustainability goals, and what are you most proud of to date? Yes, uh, Carrefour is a big retailer, of course, as you know. And I think when, it, when we talk about climate, our main challenge is COP3, because of course, uh, COP1 and 2 is something very difficult to achieve, but still, we can do it. Uh, we did it for a long time, and so we have a lot of actions, initiatives, and results on COP1 and 2. However, the most difficult for a retailer, of course, is COP3, because it's most of the time 90, 95% of our total emissions. It's all our value chain, and it's more difficult to act on our COP3. So maybe Maybe to answer your question, uh, we are very proud at Carrefour to have launched an initiative on our top 100 suppliers and we ask them to have a 1.5 trajectory for climate before 2026, otherwise we'll delist them from our stores. So it's a very impactful initiative because in 2026 we'll look at our top 100 suppliers and we'll see how many of them are compliant and the one which are not will be delisted from our stores. And to be able to monitor this initiative, each year we publish the number of our top 100 uh, suppliers. So when we launched the initiative uh, one year ago, there were 27% of our top suppliers uh, who were compliant, and now we have 45%, and we aim to be at 100% in uh, 2026. So it's what we are the most proud of, because it's very impactful. For us, it's a constraint also, because maybe uh, we lack uh, some suppliers in 2026, and we think it's very powerful to act on a climate change. What's your sense of the climate ambition for the CGF members? Is it accelerating? Is it on hold? And why? I think climate ambition has always been present at the CGF because you have a lot of coalitions uh, which work on climate in a way. For example, when you talk about food waste, plastic, recycling, of course, you have an impact on climate. But now, as you know, there is a new coalition of the CGF, uh, which is called uh, for the moment net zero or towards net zero. And we think it's a very good idea to have a specific coalition on scope free emissions. Maybe not net zero, because net zero is not for everyone, but aiming at net zero, we think it's a very good point. So I think there has always been a momentum at CGF for climate, but now it's even clearer with a specific coalition. Perfect. Well, thank you, Karina, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.